There's no flattering way to mm -mm. do this. These are fish fritters with lemon bibby bap, or however you say that. This is a coconut shrimp with a pineapple mayo. Crispy Parmesan chicken. How's it taste? Hey y'all, hey! Erica with Time to Shrink. I have a lot of food meal delivery boxes to try out and chat with y'all about. Let's jump into it, y'all. Y'all, we got a HelloFresh box. I have not used HelloFresh, but one other time we used it when we went on a vacation, but we have a super, super busy week coming up. We're finishing our cocktail book. My parents are getting a new house that we're gonna be helping demo. There's just so much to do, and I wanted us to still have really good, healthy meals. So I ordered a HelloFresh box, and I ordered a sun basket, which is going to come the next week. So we're going to show you what's in both of them and let you know what we think. Which one we like better. I'll tell you the prices and all of that stuff. But let's see what's in this HelloFresh box, y'all. Beef and cheese tostadas. Pork, mushroom, and carrot. Bibby, how do you say that? Bibby bap? That's got to be wrong. I don't know. And crispy Parmesan chicken. Now... I feel positive that I did not ask for these two things, and I did ask for this. I feel like they traded things. You're supposed to be able to pick what you get. So I'm a little less than happy with that. I really am, but I guess it is what it is, y'all. Let's see if these cards correlate with what's in here, I guess. All right, this ice is almost completely melted, Well, it is South Well, we Carolina got it the heat. second they hit the doorbell, though. So, pork, mushroom, and carrot. That one I'm kind of excited about. The ice down in here is completely, completely cold still. Beef cheese tostadas. I mean, the kids will like those. And crispy Parmesan chicken. So, I'm sure these meals are going to be fine, but this is the only one of the three that I requested. So, I'm a little less than thrilled. But, I mean, I guess they'll still be helpful. There's still meals that have everything together. But the chicken with the breadcrumbs, I can't eat that. The beef tostadas, I can eat it. And then I think I'll, this pork and carrots is with rice. I just won't eat the rice if I'm do if you're doing low carb. But I think my family will like all of these, so we'll see. But huge negative to start that they didn't give me what I asked for, y'all. Okay, we got our next food box. I wanted to compare a couple, y'all. This is Sun Basket. We've gotten this one other time, but it's been a long time. So, this is Sun Basket, and let's see. Pretty much comes packaged the same kind of way. I guess this was just a freebie. I don't know. Quinoa Quick Cup. I don't know. Caroline might eat that. Let's see. Greek skewers with your choice of protein and arugula pear salad. Coconut shrimp with cucumber salad and pineapple ginger mayo. Ooh, those sound good. And then we got a third one. Spanish sole fritters with tomato cucumber salad. And then they always put the meat and stuff in the bottom down here. So we've got our fish, our shrimp and our beef. One thing that I like about Sun Basket is that like this fish is all wild caught and sustainable and the ground beef is no antibiotics ever. Like they give you pretty decent quality products. And then each of the bags is the same thing. You know, they come with your little picture with directions and then everything is just in your bag. So it makes it super, super easy. You can just put these bags in your fridge and then pull them out as you're ready. All right, y'all, we got another box. This is a Green Chef box, and I'm a little embarrassed, but I don't remember ordering this one. I think I thought I ordered a Green Chef box when I ordered that HelloFresh box, because the meals that I thought I was gonna get from that HelloFresh came from Green Chef. So I'm not sure how the mix-up happened. I think they're both owned by the same company, but I ended up with a whole other box. This one has two meals in it. So. I don't know y'all, I don't know what I did. I already put the meals in the refrigerator, but this is chicken tinga with cilantro lime crema, which sounds really, really good, and pork banh mi bowl. 
but keto, so over a broccoli bowl instead of rice. So these are both keto. Green Chef does have keto specific meals, which is I think what I thought I ordered. So I'm just gonna be real with you. I thought I was just comparing two meals and then here today shows up another box. So we're just gonna go ahead and cook it. I made all that other food for my parents, so none of it's in my kitchen. So this will be for us for the next couple days, I guess. So I'm gonna do this somewhat meal prep style, y'all. So I'm gonna go ahead and make three of the meals. Two of them are gonna be from Sun Basket today and one is gonna be from HelloFresh today. So the Sun Basket one we're gonna do is the coconut shrimp. So this has the wild caught Gulf shrimp. We're gonna use this. And I have to say that the pictures and the directions are not, I don't think, done as well with Sun Basket. But, I mean, you can follow directions without pictures. But one of the really nice things about the HelloFresh, in my opinion, is it comes with this huge card with this beautiful picture that shows you what it's going to look like when it's done. And then the directions are step-by-step -step with pictures. And when it's a brand new recipe, I think that's really, really nice. Um, these, here's the second one they're going to make. I'm excited about making these Spanish. So, Spanish. Spanish soul fritters, like fish cakes. I think I'm really excited about this one. And the directions are easy to read and it comes in this little paper. It's just there's no pictures or anything. So that's just like a off the top difference that I'm noticing. Another thing I'm noticing is the, all of the vegetables and everything look really, really good with Sun Basket. Um, Hello Fresh. The carrots are looking a little rough. The ginger is looking like it's been seen better days um the mushrooms are okay so they're both similar in how they package everything up for you and everything's just ready to go so let's just get started i think we're going to start on shrimp because the seafood probably needs to go first so this is what we're going to start with y'all coconut shrimp with cucumber salad and pineapple ginger mayo that sounds so good some of my family won't like the cucumber but they'll be separate so the the flavors won't be mixed okay so we are going to make the cucumber salad first i should totally get my mandolin out for this y'all but i'm not going to i am not a huge raw radish person i'm just not but we are just gonna do what it says, y'all. It says to thinly slice the radish, so we're gonna do that. I can always not eat the radish in the end if I don't want to. I'm gonna try and do this as thin as I can. I really need to have my mandolin out, y'all. So we're gonna make the sauce now for the cucumber salad or the dressing. So it comes with this honey lime vinaigrette base and then you just add your own avocado oil to it. So we are gonna go, or olive oil, so there goes a fourth of a cup. One thing about these y'all is it does not include salt and pepper and it does not include like olive oil or avocado oil or butter or things like that. So you need to have like kind of your basic staples or plan to have your basic staples. So after that, we are going to our cucumbers this sounds really good to me I'm probably the only person that's gonna eat it but it sounds super good and you put brown sesame see I mean black sesame seeds in we're just gonna get all of this tossed and then while we're cooking this will have time to marinate the dressing's yummy I just tasted it okay y'all I just went ahead and rinsed this shrimp really well and let it sit in the sink for a minute and now I'm just going to spread it out on paper towels and then put a paper towel on top that way I can just kind of pat them dry. So we're going to prep our shrimp. So this is coconut flakes and this is a little bit of granulated garlic. I am going to add some salt and pepper then we're going to do an egg on in this bowl over here. Another great thing is this bag that stuff comes in, y'all, because you can just throw all your trash in the bag as you're going. All right, so we're gonna put our shrimp in our egg wash, and then into the coconut. Yeah, I guess it's just a coconut mixture. It doesn't have like any breadcrumb to it. We're just frying it in coconut. I'm just gonna drop my shrimp all in here and toss it all around. I think that's gonna be the easier way to do this, y'all, since it's not like really breadcrumbs. I'm 
I'm just gonna do a few pieces at a time and just, there we go. All right, y'all, I have some avocado oil over a medium high heat, and now I am just placing my shrimp in here. You wanna make sure that you have them spaced out so that they are going to fry up and not steam. So I did these about two minutes and now I'm flipping them. They did all fit in my pan. I love this pan so much because it is humongous. It's probably my favorite most used pan. I love my Le Creuset, but I tell you what, this is like just a plain Catalan, but it's huge. What is that, like 12 inches or something? I don't know, it's, it's big. So we're just flipping it over and letting it grill up on the other side with shrimp. You definitely don't want to overcook it, y'all. So we're just going to go maybe a minute on this side, and then dinner's going to be ready. Okay, so this is the shrimp. It comes with a mayo for dipping, pineapple ginger mayo. I have to say, this is a very small amount of dipping sauce for the amount of shrimp. I'm, I'm not super thrilled about that. But I'm going to go ahead and pile a little bit of the salad beside it. And this is enough for two servings. So that's one serving of salad. And then you can see, like, there's all that left. And then this would be two servings of shrimp. But we're kind of just going to eat it like everybody taste it type thing. And we'll let you know what we think. All right, y'all. This is a coconut shrimp with a pineapple mayo. And then it has a cucumber and black sesame salad. Looks great. So, here's a fork. Y'all just try it, see what you think. I'm not a huge coconut fan. It's it's not the flavor, it's the flakes for me. So, y'all try it and see what you think. I may, I bought this one to try for y'all mainly, and my mama. Oh, like what it. you think? You I like, like it? it? I could use a little more pineapple and coconut flavor to it, I think. Yeah. But it's good. Literally all this is is coconut flakes and garlic. Let me try it without the sauce. I almost added my time to shrimp breadcrumbs to it to make it a little bit more popcorny, but I didn't. No. What do you think? It's good. Good. It's good. Is it keto? No. None of these are really keto. I mean, they're it's low carb. The carrots would knock me. Would be a lot of carbs. The shrimp is fine. It could definitely. If you're a keto. It's definitely not popcorn shrimp. No. But. No. Like okay, the sauce well, is good. I don't think there's enough the over all really the shrimp. That's what I said. There's not enough dip. Mm -hmm. But it looks like everybody likes it, y'all. Okay, moving on to our fish fritters. All right, y'all, next thing we're gonna do is another sun basket. This is a Spanish sole fritters with a tomato cucumber salad. Y'all, I am thoroughly unsure how this is gonna come together. This is chickpea flour, and it told me to add three tablespoons of water and stir until incorporated. I did that, and I don't know how this is gonna hold anything together. Like, I'm super confused, but now we're supposed to stir in the scallions, which I just went ahead and chopped already, and then the fish, which I've also chopped. It said like a fourth in each inch portions. I've always made fish cakes, not that I've made them very many times, but I've always cooked my fish first, flaked it, and then formed my cakes. So I'm very unsure of this process here. Okay, y'all, I have zero idea how these are going to hold together but it said to make like three inch patties and just lay them down they in no way are holding together so maybe something miraculous happens as it cooks all right they're holding together i guess that chickpea flour maybe i'm shocked all right let's cook them up on that side those look good i decided to make like a little dipping mayonnaise so we are going to put a little bit of mayo in a bowl, a little bit of red, a little bit of red wine vinegar, and I'm gonna go in with some garlic and herb seasoning, because I just feel like it needs more than just a squeeze of lemon juice. I don't know. So y'all grab a fork. These are fish fritters with lemon. This is the side great kind of salad. I kind of wish this salad had like some feta or something. I mean, I know y'all don't like cucumbers, but, and then I made a little dipping sauce just in case. You might want to squeeze some lemon. Did you do that already? Mm-hmm. How's it taste? Tastes good. Tastes like a fish for Let's see. What kind of fish is it? Just a white fish? Oh. Yeah, it tastes good. 
nothing special. When I order things from a meal delivery, I want a punch of flavor. I want something I wouldn't think to do on my own. Now, yes, I would have made these differently on my own, but I feel like there's no flavor. Like, it's okay. Tastes like plain fish. There's no fun flavor. And the same thing with the salad. It's okay, but there's nothing that elevates it or makes it special. So, that's kind of what I'm thinking at the moment anyways. We are getting ready to make our first HelloFresh meal. This is pork, mushrooms, and carrots bibibap. I'm sure I said that wrong. But what I had to do, it gives you little instructions with pictures for this, which is really, really nice. Tells you what you're gonna need, what your ingredients are. I really like the layout. So we already cooked the rice, and I've already prepped my veggies. Let me show you. For veggies, we needed some thinly sliced mushrooms, some carrots, Sliced. I literally just used my peeler and made peels of carrots after I peeled the outside. Then I cut whites off the scallions, mainly whites, a few greens, and we've got some white wine vinegar and salt in that, so this is kind of pickling. And then I have some ginger and I have some garlic that I've finely minced. The ginger, I only have about half the amount because one of the things they sent was bad, so that wasn't great, but we'll make do. Okay, basically I'm just frying these carrots into like little thin carrot chips almost. And I'm about to scoop these out and then we're gonna do the same thing with the mushrooms. All right, this is a little hot, y'all, but I've just turned it down to low. This is pork, garlic, and onion. Not onion. Pork, garlic, and ginger. Okay, so here's our bibibap, or however you say that. Bim -bap. I'm sure bimbap. Taste this, Jason. I am never gonna make carrots another way again, y'all. These are like fried carrot strings, and they're so good. Mmm. Yes, ma'am. This, this is what I want. This is what I expect when I order a meal de delivery service. Mm -hmm. Something that I haven't made before with flavors great. that I might not have put together. Exactly. Yes, I've used these flavors before, but I have never done it like this. And I will be replicating this meal. My family's gonna love this. Yeah. Get some cauliflower rice under there. Yeah, we could put cauliflower oh, rice yeah. under there instead of regular rice. Love what do you think about the carrots like this? Good. So good. Okay, so y'all, I am, the main reason I ordered these meals was so I could package some for meal prep for my parents because they're moving and have no kitchen accessible right now. So I put them in these little to-go containers. So there's two meals for my parents and then we'll eat the other half of it right now. Okay, y'all, we're starting our first, our next Sun Basket meal and the spice blend is all over everything, which is a little frustrating because you really want that to go into your food. Not your cutting Not board. Your cutting board. Well, we'll just have to do the best we can. So we're gonna make this sun basket meal Greek skewers with a with a arugula and pear salad. So the instructions don't have pictures, so you don't really need to see those. But what we're doing is they told me to cut up an onion, raisins that they sent me, and Greek seasoning that they sent me, and this meat. I'm gonna combine them all together, and then we form them on these little skewers, and we cook them on those. What I did was take that meat mixture I showed you and formed it around these wood skewers, and I guess we are just going to go cook them in a pan now. This is the Greek skewers that are gonna go with the lemon arugula salad. I'm packing these up for a meal for my parents. I've got my dad, so he's gonna taste one. This is the Greek kebab. See what you think. Is it good? Yeah, I like that. Um, good and flavor and texture, and it's very moist. Okay. Very good. So picture that with lemon arugula salad. <laughs> All right. Hazel. Hazel. This is the next meal that we're gonna do. This is a HelloFresh beef and cheese tostadas. I thought this would be great because people who don't do keto can have the regular tortillas that come with it, but I happen to have these tortillas, so I'm gonna package this up for my parents for a meal. I'm gonna send these tortillas with them and they can fry these up for the bottom for the tostada, and the rest is perfectly keto friendly. So let's get started. This is just a super, super easy to throw together meal. Just making a little pico right here. It's literally just the onions, lime juice, the tomatoes, and the cilantro. And then over here literally is just hot sauce, and sour cream and this is supposed to make like a crema okay so the beef is cooked just it had southwest seasoning blend 
that's the nice thing about these is you just use the blend that they like so it had that in there and now we're going to add in our veggies which is just green peppers and onions we're going to add in some chili pepper get that chili powder if i can anyways we're going to add in some chili powder get all this cooked down and then add a little bit of beef stock and then this will be ready to go y'all super quick easy meal Right. One thing is they do give pretty good portions in HelloFresh. Like this is supposed to just feed four people. I think it would make a lot more than that. And then we've got all this pico and this is quite a bit of sauce. And then we have two big things of cheese and a bunch of tortillas, like 12 tortillas y'all. So that's quite a bit of food compared to the sun basket meals where a lot less food. All right, y'all, let's go in on this tostada. Mm. That was delicious. I wasn't happy that this meal came because it was one of the two that I, one of the two meals that I did not order. I'm not sure how that got mixed up. This is something I could easily make at home. I do easily make at home. I've made this exact meal multiple times, but it's delicious. It's always delicious. And I have a lot to send for my parents so that they have more meals over this next week while they're packing to move. Next thing we're gonna do is crispy Parmesan chicken. We are not gonna make the couscous because that's not keto and I'm making it for my parents and they eat low carb. So this is not exactly a super keto meal because of the, there's got a little bit of panko crumbs, not much, just a tiny, tiny bit. And then carrots are a little higher carb, but this is a healthy carb meal. So we're gonna get a little bit of carbs from this meal, but again, this is one of the ones that I did not order and they sent me the wrong meal. So I can make chicken Parmesan. I have made chicken Parmesan. I've got a good chicken Parmesan, but we're gonna make theirs. So I wonder, does it say, no, it doesn't say on here anywhere what the carb counts and all of that stuff is. It might on the it app or the online. website. Yeah. Okay. The other thing, y'all, is it wants us to do this in the oven. There's no way that's happening right now. It is way too hot. So I'm going to use the air fryer for the chicken and for the roasted um, carrots. I'm getting this chicken prepped. There are no seasonings. They've given us nothing of any kind of goodness. There's a little bit of paprika. That's about it. So I'm going to use my own favorite... Yeah, I'm gonna use my own favorite Fresh Jacks Italian. I'm gonna use this to season the chicken, the carrots, and the, yeah, the chicken and the carrots. Cause I like to season it every step, y'all. So basically for this chicken Parmesan, we're only covering the top. So I'm going to take my chicken, put it in sour cream, put it in here, and then we're gonna set it on the into the air fryer just like that. All right, I've got our chicken in here. I ended up going ahead and coating it on both sides because I don't know why you wouldn't. So that's what we did. We're gonna go in the air fryer on the chicken button. And I'm guessing it's not gonna take, I don't know, let's, let's try 18 and check. All right, this is carrots. I'm just gonna put a little bit of oil and we're gonna do salt pepper and some more of that Italian seasoning so we've got the carrots in this other air fryer this is my I think my favorite air fryer I'm, I've been testing out too okay so we are gonna go with roast there we go they should be done about the same time so this is the chicken parmesan or the crispy parmesan chicken. It's not what you think of as chicken parmesan, but it's not really what they called it. I think they called it crispy parmesan chicken. The smoked paprika is a little bit on the spicy side. And this is the one that I did only on one side. And then the rest of them, I went ahead and breaded on both sides because I don't know why not. There was plenty of breading. So we've already eaten one whole piece before we showed it to y'all. And then here are the carrots straight out of the air fryer. That's they spicy. are super sweet and good, but this definitely has some spice to it. It has some kick. All right, so here's everything set out. I love how everything's like measured out and cut out and everything with this one. This is a little different than the Hello Fresh or Sun Basket in that everything's already been cleaned and prepped. Like the carrots are already sliced, the peppers are already cut up, the broccoli is all cut up for me, the kale's all cut up and washed. So that saves a lot of steps. I don't have to do nearly as much prep with this one. So this says that is going to be about a 25 minute meal. We start with marinating the pork. So let's just jump into it. 
All right, y'all, this pork even was already cut up. Like earlier we did that fish and I had to cut it all up into tiny pieces. It came cut up. So you put this togarashi seasoning on it, which I love togarashi seasoning. I have some at the house. This doesn't seem like a lot of seasoning in this packet, but we're gonna trust them. So we're supposed to get this all mixed together and then we're going to put some coconut aminos, which I also appreciate that with keto, they gave me coconut aminos instead of soy sauce. Because technically soy is not a product that we use on keto. Just like with that last HelloFresh meal, how some of the veggies looked a little past good, that's what this is looking like too. These carrots do not look awesome. And this daikon radish is looking like it's seen better days. But it's not bad enough that I can't use it. And there is this apple cider vinegar with cilantro. We're gonna open that and just pour it. That's our pickling juice, pickling liquid. So we're just gonna toss that and let this sit. So I am dry roasting just a few cashews. Here's our pork that's got the togarashi and everything. We're just gonna get this all cooked up and then cook up the veggies. This is just a super, super, super simple, easy, quick meal that I think is gonna be delicious. They saved me so much time by already dicing this pork for me. Let me catch y'all up on what just happened. Okay, when this meal service sends you a meal for four people, they really, they do it in groups of two. So they sent me the exact same bag twice. So I had two packs of pork and I made it the two packs of pork with just the one bag's ingredients. And then I just realized that I was supposed to have another bag. So I pulled it out and added the rest of the togarashi and the rest of the soy to this. But I totally almost blanked on that. So I thought I would throw that in there. Some of the meal services send them in one big bag. Some of them send them by two. So just, I guess it's easier for them for packaging. There's our pork all done up. Looks really, really good. Next up is cooking up the broccoli and the kale. I put a little bit more olive oil in the, or some, put a little more avocado oil in the bottom of the pan and I am going to cook up the broccoli. It said to do this in a separate pan, but I'm using the same pan. I, I'm a one pan girl. So these are just about cooked down. This is all of the veggies. Y'all, if I did this again, if I end up liking it, while the pork was cooking, I would have just thrown these in the air fryer with the oil and salt and pepper, and then they would have been ready at the same time, and it would have been a 10 minute meal instead of a 20 minute meal. So just a tip. So here is what she's looking like. Very, very pretty. We've got our pork, our pickled veggies, and our broccoli and kale. This is so pretty, this base. And then it comes with a pre-made spicy ginger lime aioli. So that is what I was sprinkled over the top. And then I topped it with the toasted cashews. Sounds really good. This is what we want. Like this isn't something we would necessarily make. Exactly. This is what we look for. for this these types is of what places. we look for in a meal prep, what a meal box, meal box, meal service. Absolutely. Let's see how it tastes. Yeah, it's good. That's a little. A little bland? A little bland, It honestly. looked to me, I was worried. I have togarashi in the cabinet, so I'm gonna add some of this to his next bite and see what he thinks. I also think it needs a little more coconut aminos. That's better. Mm -hmm. I'm eating it too. That's much better. It needed a little bit more soy sauce or coconut aminos and some more togarashi. It was okay before. It was good, but, but it needed like a punch. If you punch. want punch, yeah. yeah. Needed a little more flavor. I'm sweating to death, y'all, sorry. It's I good. wasn't gonna put my I'll face in. It. All right, y'all, you got me today because Erica is just not feeling good. We're going to make this last Green Chef meal. It is called Chicken Tinga with cilantro and lime crema. It looks delicious. This is a Green Chef meal. Uh, I think Erica showed you in one of the, in the other episode how nicely like everything's already individually packaged and, and just a really nice packaging to these, so it makes it easy. It looks like I am. Let's see the instructions here. Um, they should be... You know, if I can make this, anyone can make it. So let's see, prepping the vegetables, getting the chicken ready, and then just cooking it all up is what it looks like we're doing. It looks like six steps, and we're cooking for four tonight. So I'm gonna start, start chopping some vegetables, and we'll take you through these steps. All right, so first step is to prep the vegetables. We are going to do that right now. It looks very easy. We've got summer squash, which came in its own little package. Looks, looks like a nice size, everything. So happy with that, it says, just to like quarter it, I guess. So I'm just gonna kinda do this and hope it's right. 
These look like pretty big pieces, but I guess they'll cook down because there's probably a lot of water in a summer squash. So, we're just going to chop these up into pieces. This is kind of what the picture looks like, I think. Yeah. I don't know. I think I did it too much. I think they were supposed to be halves. Oh well. My picture here. And you can see what I ended up with. Pretty good, pretty good. Moving on to step number two, which is season the chicken. Um, it's two packs of chicken since we're making four person meal. They, I kind of like how Green Chef packages everything. Um, season it with this orange chili and spice blend. So it says dump that in there. You always have to provide your own salt and pepper. They never send those, which I, I find kind of funny because, well, I guess everybody has salt and pepper. I don't know. I only saw a couple of pieces in the pack that had um, a little bit too much fat on them that I had to get rid of. And then it says, I don't know, it says a drizzle about a teaspoon of cooking oil. So I have no idea how much a teaspoon is. So we'll call it that today. And again, the oil doesn't come with the meal. And then I'm just going to... I guess mix this up. I don't really know how to do this kind of stuff. So we're just gonna mix it up, hopefully get seasoning on everything. Sure. Alright, so it said to heat up some oil under medium heat in your saucepan and then add your chicken and your onions. And it said to cook this for about three minutes or until the chicken or not the chicken, until the onions become translucent so we'll see what we can do here all right so I think this is what we wanted to look like those are our translucent onions and the chickens kind of cooked on the surface of every side so now it says to turn down the heat and to add this um, seasoned chipotle tomato sauce and half a cup or yeah half a cup of water four ounces of water all right, so this is what the chicken looks like when it's done. It looks kind of like watery still, I don't know. But I'm just gonna uh, put this in a bowl and then we're gonna do the zucchini and cabbage and what else do we have, tomatoes. All right, so we started off with the zucchini and got it cooking and then you add in your cabbage, your tomatoes. I'm supposed to cook this for about a minute, two minutes. All right, we're here to taste, but Erica came out and she's not feeling well today. And she reminded me, like, the reason there are two packs of chicken is because that's what? What do we say? It's like it, it's portion for two, and the vegetables are portion for two also. So I'm sitting there doing the pan thing, and this is not enough sides at all. Like, I'm glad there's this much meat, but this isn't enough sides. Well, y'all. So you cooked all the chicken, but I cooked all the chicken. You're missing half the vegetables and half of the seasoning. Half of the vegetables and half of the sides, and I guess half of the seasoning too. Yeah, because yeah, there's, there's another a pack. whole another pack of seasoning. So I don't know. I screwed that up, but we're gonna taste it and see how it tastes. I screwed it up yesterday the same <laughs> way when I made. So is it. there more cheese and cream on here too? Yeah. Oh, there's everything. There's more and sauce. So oh. And the sauce, everything. You you didn't use enough. Uh, so but that's okay. We'll okay. still taste it. We'll fix it somehow. How's it taste? I mean, same as the last couple meals. It's a little bland. I feel like it could have a lot more flavor. But is that because? But you're missing all of this chipotle, and you're missing all of this orange chili spice. So right. I'm sure that's why it tastes bland. But. It's beautiful and it looks like something I could easily recreate, which is cool to try something yeah, different. I think the spice blends you have and everything, you could really make this into something. What do like. y'all think about the cilantro lime crema compared to mine? Oh my gosh, it's like water compared to yours. Did you see it coming out? Here, I'll pour some out. Yeah, it's, you can taste it. It's not. It doesn't have the punch of flavor that mine does. Look at that. Yeah. Yeah, that's, that's not yours. <laughs> no. But that's I think okay. you can make this meal. I think you can replicate it. I love the cabbage. I love the tomatoes. Mm -hmm. It has pretty good flavor. It just needs more, which if we did it again, we'd do it the right way. These bags are kind of confusing all. Overall, the Green Chef, though, they made some tasty meals. So the Green Chef meals are tasty. It's confusing how some of them come 
and packaged like two and some of them come packaged for four you if you know, ask I for guess. that yeah but we know that now but just a warning for y'all make sure you realize to grab both bags all right we're gonna eat this and then I will come back in a minute and we will chat about the differences in all of them, the prices and what we think. What we like. I thought we would go over what I thought about the meal plan delivery, y'all. I had written down a breakdown of what they cost initially, what they cost the next time, and all of that jazz. I can't find it anywhere. I cannot find my paper where I wrote it down, but what I remember is Sun Basket was really inexpensive the first go round. It was like literally like $36 for the two meals that it came with. They were for two people each. The Green Chef was more like 70 ish for the first one. And then the Hello Fresh was around that price too. The next go round, when you got the second box delivered, I wasn't planning on doing it at all, y'all. I was not planning on having but one delivery of each box, but you have to cancel like immediately or they log you in for the next week. I didn't realize how quickly I had to do that, so I ended up having to get meals another week. Of course, it didn't go bad. We used them all, and I was able to see how the prices changed. So for that second round of baskets, everything was around the same price, around 111-ish dollars give or take uh, 10 or 15 one way or the other. I don't have the exact prices anymore because I don't know what I did with my paper. But that said, Sun Basket is a no-go for me. I was not impressed, nothing tasted amazing, there was not enough seasoning on things, the pictures weren't great, the directions were on this tiny little small box. And compared to the HelloFresh and Green Chef, which are owned by the same company, they have the big, let me see, Right, so this is the sun basket, this tiny little thing, tiny little picture, and then Hello Fresh, you have this huge picture, right? Huge picture, and then directions on the back, all with pictures, and I absolutely loved that. Also, with the Green Chef, which I think is owned by Hello Fresh as well, I was able to get keto specific meals. The other ones I had to do a little bit of adapting for me to eat them, but I did like that the Green Chef had those meals. Green Chef, here's Hello Fresh. This is Hello Fresh versus Green Chef. So the Green Chef comes up and down like this. The Hello Fresh is a picture like that. They both have pictures on the back to really tell you how to use them. The Green Chef and the Hello Fresh, I was really impressed with both. Some of the meals came, like I said, the second week. I didn't know they were coming, so I didn't get to pick them out, but they still were very, very tasty. I think I am a little heavy handed with spices and flavorings. I like things to pack a punch. And so I probably needed to add a little bit of extra to most of these recipes to make us really, really like them. But I loved how it all came together. It was so easy. I didn't have to think about it. I literally just pulled the bag out, picked this up, read what I was doing and did it. Followed simple directions. They were all quick and easy. 20, 30 minute meals. One of them actually was chicken and mashed potatoes and roasted carrots. That was probably the most complicated one. My daughter did that one, it took her a little bit longer, but it turned out delicious. Everything was very easy to follow. Sun basket, I would say no. Just like no, it wasn't good enough. Wasn't good enough. The other two I would totally do again. We have actually used these before on vacation as well, and that is such a great thing to do. You can just Order what you want. If you're driving, have it shipped to your house the day you're, before you leave, or you can even have it shipped to your vacation home. And we've done that before, and then you don't have to go to the grocery store for hardly anything at all. And that was a really cool way to use it. That's probably the way I would use it in the future. This time I used it because I was finishing up writing my cookbook. My time to drink cookbook is up, y'all. It's live. If anybody's interested in low carb cocktails, go check it out. It'll be linked down below, mysouthernketokitchen.com. Um, it's $17 and it is chock full of like 80 some pages of recipes like it is I'm really proud of it but anyways that's why I ordered it because I knew I'd be working hard on finalizing that and I thought this would make it easy I could cook or my family could cook 
Jason cooked some of these, my daughter cooked some of these, my son cooked one. I cooked a bunch of a meal prep style for my family and for my mom and dad because they were moving and I wanted to be able to help them, but I was super busy too. So it worked really great as meal prep for that too. So I would totally do it again. Totally recommend HelloFresh or Green Chef. Green Chef especially if you want something more keto, but all of them have things that work. So that's what I thought of these. I hope y'all enjoyed this video and I will see you again on another video really soon. Bye y'all. Be blessed.